the gun in the hand creates a third thing. Let's call them the gun human, this third entity. It creates a socio-technical construction, you see. You could think of it as a cyborg, this new being as, as, as a cyborg. The gun per se, the gun as technology here, no longer exists when it's in the hand. The hand, the naked hand, no longer exists when it's got a gun in it. What we've got instead is this hybrid. We've got this, this fusion. Now, when I shoot somebody, it doesn't make sense to say that the gun did it. The gun didn't do it. It doesn't make sense either to say that the hand did it, that the, that the human did it. It's the third entity that did it. It's the gun human that did it. It, it, it can be argued, though, that it's, the, it's human desire here that's at work, that the gun has no desires, only the human has desires, that the gun has no will, only the human has will, and therefore it is human desire and human will that constructed the gun human in the first place, and it is the human that is responsible for exercising their will, for exercising their desire, and as a consequence, splintering bones, ripping flesh and, and killing people. However, I don't think that that is the case either. A gun in the hand has, is an entity, a gun human is an entity, a hybrid entity, with different capacities to the naked human. Yeah? It is capable of different actions, the gun human. The gun human can act differently in a way that the naked human cannot. The outcomes that result from the actions of the gun human are different. And in this view, different capacities, different actions and different outcomes give rise to will, give rise to desire. The naked human has no desire to cause your head to explode. I, the, here I am. I, this is not a possibility. This is an outcome. This is a, a ridic This is an outcome that you know that cannot be. I have. I, the naked human does not have that capacity. And given that the naked human does not have that capacity, cannot act in that way, cannot achieve that outcome. That will is not present. The gun human, though, can act in that way. The gun human can create that possibility. That outcome can arise in the case of the gun human. It's the gun human that has the will and the desire to cause somebody's head to explode. It's not the human, the naked human, in this, in this argument.